Hey, what's going on, guys? Wanted to encourage you with this video. Um, back in December, if um, you've been following me, I did a video where I was prophetically declaring that many people will be positioned for righteousness and that you would have an opportunity before you or many sets of opportunities for you to step up. And if you step up, that God will present to you a way or uh, some door for which you, you uh, would be tested and you would have to stand up for the kingdom. And I wanted to just encourage you guys with this video today because I was reading uh, the book of Esther. And one of the things that the book of Esther talks about is uh, a defining moment for Esther in her life. And if you know the story, basically Esther was um, allowed, um, you know, after Queen Vashti fell and she was given an opportunity to be placed in uh, next to the king, essentially. And obviously she's, she's the queen. Uh, but there was a time where, you know, Haman and, and many others had uh, plotted against the Jews. And basically there was a decree that went out to destroy them. And Mordecai, who was uh, near um, the king and at the king's gate, had been in communication, obviously being a Jew with uh, Queen Esther, who was also a Jew. And basically it had come down to um, Mordecai saying, hey, how do you know that um, that at a, at such a time as this for the kingdom that you would have been positioned there for uh, for such a time as this? And uh, the, and Mordecai was really saying um, that you were positioned here for a reason, and that who knows that you would be one to have to be helping us and to be saving all of the Jews for this destruction that was imminent for for them. And so, of course. We know how the story works out. Uh, Esther had, Queen Esther had uh, risked her life, essentially. And if you know um, the decrees and all that, uh, basically the king had extended his golden scepter uh, to Queen Esther, who had approached the king in the king's court. And if he did not extend his scepter out to you uh, in response, then you would have been put to death. And so uh, a lot of people... You know, they read the story and they're like, oh, that's great. You know, just, you know, one narrative after another. But you don't really realize how detrimental, how terrifying that would have been for you to have taken uh, essentially a gamble or a risk to go up to the king and that your life would have been on the line and that you would have had, would have had essentially a choice, whether it's you want to say 50-50 or not, whether you thought maybe you had some favor whatever it is, but the gravity of that situation of her risking her life to be going before the king is utterly huge. And the other thing that a lot of people don't really understand is that God had sovereignly placed uh, Queen Esther for that moment, for such a time as this, as Mordecai had been saying. But imagine for a moment if you know Queen Esther had been doing everything she had done up to that moment only for her to have told Mordecai, you know what, Mordecai, I'm a little bit nervous and I'm a little bit fearful that the king may not extend his golden scepter to me and I feel like I may be put to death. And in fact, I, I feel like there's another way out. And I'm sure that you can find some other person um, other than me because I'm just chilling here like a queen and I'm just going to be doing my thing. And I love my life. It's a high life and it's, it's good. And I'm not going to do this, Mordecai. Go find somebody else. Imagine if Queen Esther had done that. And of course, I don't know if, you know, some other alternative would have come about. But imagine if that was her choice and she had not stepped up. And essentially, even her life, her narrative wouldn't have been written in the Bible of a story of courage, of a story of boldness, of stepping up to what she was called to do. And I believe that she was called to do that. But imagine if for a moment she did not do that and she didn't um, step up to her calling. And what's saddening for many people is that this situation happens for many of you guys, for many people all across the world who are called according to his purpose. But many people do that. They, they're called and God tugs at their heart and God tugs at them to make a decision or a choice to step up like Queen Esther had done. But ultimately, many fail and they don't, they don't step up. And you may know what that feeling is, whether it's in you know, big moments, big ticket moments, or whether it's in small, you know, day-to-day -day scenarios, because many people feel regret. And, you know, maybe you go to bed at night and you're reflecting on your day and you're thinking, oh man, I should have done this better. I should have done 
that better. I could have reached out to this person. I could have reconciled with that person. I could have been more courageous to talk to my teacher about this. I could have addressed my manager or my boss with these concerns. I should have talked to my, um, you know, brother or my sibling or my, you know, son or daughter, my father, mother, whoever it is. I could have done these actions better to display and showcase Christ's love, to do the will of God, to expand the kingdom, to share the gospel or whatever that door is. Because many of us, to be honest, we lack courage. We lack the desire and the willingness to step up. And even if it means death, even if it means risking your reputation, your image, or whatever that you know thing is. Uh, and Queen Esther, she could have died. She could have risked her entire reputation, her life. She would have not been queen, but really she was placed in that moment for such a time as this. And you've got to recognize for many of you guys, you are being positioned for such a time as this. And you have to recognize that and you have to be able to step up. And whether it's a huge moment, whether you're in, I don't know, politics or some big career or some important public you know, stage or platform, or whether you were just ministering to somebody at the, uh, you know, a water cooler at, at the, the coffee shop or whatever it is in the small moments, God is calling you to step up and to not back down from what the Lord has convicted you to do and what you feel and what you know is the right thing to do because the Spirit leads you, the Spirit tells you, the Bible tells you, but you miss out. And that opportunity, though it was presented to you in such an easy way, a silver platter, so to speak, you had missed it because you lacked the courage and you lacked the desire to do it. And so I want to encourage you guys, if you're in that position, to really pray for courage, for boldness, to step up. And to really um, put yourself in Esther's shoes and how big of a moment that was. And I'm not trying to, you know, exaggerate your moment. And maybe your moment is big, bigger than hers, or maybe it's smaller. Who knows? But the point is that many of you guys need that little, a little bit of encouragement, that boost, so that God can lead you and God can encourage you to take that step. And so don't have faint of heart. Don't step back. Don't uh, concede. Don't, um, you know, get anxious or fearful of what it is that might happen to you because if God is calling you to do that then he will be there for you he will encourage you he will give you that a word the words to speak he will give you the um the strength the motivation uh the opportunity and, and all of it and so um you have to step up you have to step up and you have to be able to recognize what that God-given opportunity is and to really be able to uh, execute on it and to really push through and so I want to encourage you guys with that a lot of you guys will be going through a lot of different, you know, difficult conversations or different circumstances, both this month and over the course of the next year. And so you've got to be able to um, be in prayer for that and to really step up. So don't be uh, afraid. Don't lose heart. Um, it's not the end of the world. And God is seeing the bigger picture. And he saw the Jews. He saw the future. He saw so many other things. And Queen Esther, fortunately, wasn't limited by her own self-image for uh, of her own reputation of her own death but instead she saw the bigger picture and God helped her to see the bigger picture and so do that pray for the bigger picture pray for other things that are outside of what your limitations of what you view view is um, the outcome of you know whatever it is that you need to do and so I want to encourage you guys with that to really step up to really pray and to really take heart to be courageous and bold and um, stepping up to your decision and to your action. So, um, yeah, I love you guys. Uh, we'll talk soon.